Apologies for the last video, it was painfully long. Usually I never like to make a long videos. I, keep, I try to keep the length under 10 minutes so that it's fun to watch and those people who can bear long videos can watch two videos. Okay, so in this video, we're going to understand the concept of how to remove a value from slice based on the index. This is a very common operation. Do you do that uh, when you have a slices and sometimes even in the database operation and you should really, really know this operation well and understand that as well. This includes a little bit more on the syntax of append and some of the variadic uh, concept, which means you can take as many argument as you want. We'll go through with that concept later on in the function, but this is really nice and you should really learn that right here. So this is going to be a concept on how to remove uh, a value from slice based on index. And by the way, you can go ahead and uh, keep this one as a reference video because this is really important and you should bookmark this one. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So let's just say I have a slice, which is courses. How do we create slices? Simply empty uh, bracket up here and the values that you want to put it up. And in case you want to initialize it on the go, you can use this syntax. So I have a few courses list. Let's just say we are having a course of React JS, another course on probably JavaScript. And then we are going to have a course on Swift. And uh, let's just have two more. One is Python. Another one is Ruby. Great language, by the way. Okay, so we are give, having a list of, not list, a slice of courses in the terms of Golang. And now we want to print it first. So let's go ahead and print all these courses. So that should be all fine. And uh, I'm not gonna remove all these things. I'm just gonna remove a few of them so that we don't get too much of crowdy stuff up here. And uh, it's gonna give us some of the warning that, hey, you are not using it. Uh, but I think that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a try. Hopefully it doesn't complain to me. Okay, so we get the list of courses. All the courses are absolutely fine, but through some values, maybe you're creating a to-do list or something, and you get that, that I receive an index, and which is of type integer, and you want to remove the second val or the second index up here. So, hey, uh, Swift, you need to go away from this one. So how we're going to utilize or how we can actually do this. We can do this, in fact, we not we can, we have to do this via append. Now, what does this append actually uh, takes as an argument? Notice we have already used the courses and we use append to actually add the values, but you can also use append to remove the values. We saw this while having a syntax. Remember, we had a lot of, lot of detail in depth talk about these colon syntax. So you can re-get the list a portion of the list and we are going to use the same concept for this one remember i want to get away from the second element so swift needs to go away and rest of my list should remain intact so how we're going to do that we're going to simply say that this time instead of just saying courses like this we're going to go up here and we'll say colon index so remember what's going to happen i don't know what's your first value so start from the default so it's going to start from react and what's my index this is second so remember, I told you every single time that the last value is non-inclusive. So it's going to go to number two. Remember, this is zero, this is one, and this is two. So this will not be included. So the list, first list that we are comprised of is including React.js and JavaScript only. Now, after that, we are going to go ahead and put up a comma and we're going to say courses. And this time we want to start from index plus one, because obviously we want to ignore the index and we're going to put up a colon. As soon as I'm going to save this, this is going to give me an error and will say, hey, this is not a correct syntax. Although the logic is syntax, logic is okay, but the syntax is not correct. This is where you define your definition of function in a way which accepts more argument than just what it was meant for. So in this case, we go ahead and use the triple dot and definitely we'll have a detailed video on that, but this is what it gives us. And we can go ahead and say fumpt, just go ahead and print courses. And there we go. Now let's go ahead and try to do this again. And there we go, we got React, JavaScript, Python, and Ruby, and the index number two, which happens to be Swift in this case, is gone. Quickly, I'm gonna try to retrade this one. First, we use the append method because it reallocates the memory, a little bit more optimized, and we use colon index. Colon index means I don't have a first value, so go ahead and use zero. So it says, uh, let me go ahead and use this one, okay. So we go ahead and say, uh, zero, this is one, and this is two, which happened to be my index, so this is my first value. In the second parameter, I say index plus one, which is two plus one, so starting value will be three. So zero, one, two, and three. 
So this is what 3 is. And since I said nothing after the colon, that means, hey, to go till the end. So it will go till the end. So now my list is comprised of two parts, which is this one and this one. And thus, I'll, I got rid of uh, something which is in the index. I know this sounds really obvious as of now, but eventually, as you will build more application, you are going to realize that this concept is super important. And during when we are going to build APIs as well, I'll come back onto this video again. So that's it for this one. Let's go ahead and catch up in the next video. Thank you.